This is an Arizona scorpion, and I'm gonna transform it into bronze. Arizona, it's known for the Grand Canyon, deserts full of cactus, and yeah. scorpions. On a recent trip to Arizona, I decided to go do some scorpion hunting. I really wanted to try finding one with a black light. Scorpions are known for having a strange quality of glowing bright green under ultraviolet light. So cool. The second method is just flipping over garbage I found around. There seemed to be a lot of it in the part of the desert I was. But the scorpions don't complain too much. They love these shadowy dark places. With a little strategy, I was able to capture them without getting stung. Once they were unalived very humanely, it was time to get them ready. I wanted the tail to be in that classic scorpion pose, so I took a small drop of wax and put it in the middle of each segment to hold the position. For the base, I took a piece of wax and I roughed in the shape of a rock. For the texture, I took an actual rock and I pressed it into the wax. So now, I have a wax rock. Of course, there's also method two. If you have harder wax and it's a little more brittle, you can smash it and that looks just like a rock too. In order to keep the legs in the right position, I took a small bit of wax along each foot to hold it in place. This will also ensure that the legs are vented and metal will be able to flow through these small little tubes. One by one I go. Scorpions have a lot of legs. I caught a centipede and I was going to try it, but it got away. Maybe that's a good thing. I also made sure to put some wax directly between the body and the base, not only to help secure it, but also to act as the main channel for metal to get into the body cavity. I altered the technique slightly, but mainly took the same approach for all the rest. These are such a cool creature, and they really don't kill as many people as you might think. In America, scorpions have only killed four people in the last 11 years. That's according to the Google. Once everything was in place, I used a dental tool to burnish out that glossiness that the dried wax has, so it looks like the natural rock. Now it's time to sprue everything up. By attaching these sprues, that'll allow the metal to flow in once everything is melted away and burned out. Sometimes building the sprue tree can be a little bit tricky. However, once it's all finished, it's more beautiful than a Christmas tree. Time to mix up the investment. The water's added first, the powder goes in next, and it's mixed thoroughly. I won't be putting this in my vacuum chamber. You can see the grasshopper video if you want to know why. Instead, I'm just going to pour it in real slow and try to avoid any bubbles. This little guy's just hanging there freestyle. We'll see what happens to him. Just like magic, the investment goes from liquid to solid. I use a torch to burn out all the wax that I can reach. Normally, I'll steam the wax out and save it, but with the insects, I just don't like to steam it. So I'm gonna put this in the kiln for the main burnout. I slowly raise the temperature to over a thousand degrees and hold it for about eight to 10 hours. 
After that point, all the wax and any remnants of the insects are gone and it's ready for the metal. The bronze is heated up to over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit and all the impurities are scraped off the top. The flask is put into my homemade vacuum chamber. That'll help draw air through the investment and pull all the metal through those small areas like the legs and the stinger. After the metal's solidified, I'll take it to the water and quench it to break up all the investment and free up the bronze. It's looking good so far. To clean out all the investment from all those little tiny gaps and crevices, I'll just use my sandblaster. It's the easiest way to do it. Even this little guy turned out pretty cool. Now it comes time for the metal work. I'll very carefully try to cut off each piece from the tree with an angle grinder. Then I take a small wire brush on a Dremel to buff it and give it a little bit of shine. I put a clear coat of protect clear over the scorpion to help protect the color for the next step. I try very carefully to keep it only on the scorpion so none of it runs onto the rock. I do my best anyway. Once that's done, I mix up some liver of sulfur help give the base rock a darker patina. The clear coat will protect the metallic luster of the scorpion while the base will get dyed dark for a color contrast. And just like that, bronze scorpion. Even the stinger is captured. Please give the video a thumbs up, comment and tell me what you think I should cast next, and don't forget to come on back for the next project. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.